Look and play. It is a lovely sunny morning. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Daddy, aren't you going to work today? No, Pepper. It's Saturday. Daddy Pig doesn't work on Saturdays. Daddy Pig, you'll be late for work. But it's Saturday, Mummy Pig, isn't it? No, it's Thursday. Oh. Daddy Pig works on Thursdays. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Poor Daddy having to work. Lucky Mummy, you can play at home all day. I'm not playing. I'm working on my computer. <laughs> George wants to play the Happy Mrs Chicken game. George, we can play the Happy Mrs Chicken game after I've finished my work. Oh. Mummy Sheep and Susie have come to pick up Peppa for playgroup. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> have a good day at playgroup. Bye-bye, Mummy. Work hard. <laughs> Mrs Sheep, do you work? Or do you play? I am going to be working very hard today. <laughs> I'm off to the gym. What do you do at the gym? Running, jumping and skipping. Mummy, that's not work. That's play. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and Susie have arrived at the playgroup. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Children, today we will play shops. Ooh. Who wants to be shopkeeper? Me! Me! Peppa and Susie can be shopkeepers. Everyone else can be customers. Peppa and Susie are going to run a pretend shop. What do we have to do? I will take the money, Susie, and you can stack the shelves. OK. Danny Dog is the first customer. Hello, shopkeeper. Hello, Mr Dog. Can I have some biscuits, please? Susie, have we got any biscuits? No, but we've got a toy telephone. How much will that be? That will be a hundred pounds, please. <laughs> Thank you. Next, please. Nay. Hello, shopkeeper. Can I have a loaf of bread, please? No. But you can have a toy house. Would you like it in a bag, sir? Yes, please. That will be one a penny, please. Oh, I haven't got enough money. You can pay us next time you come in. Gosh, this is hard work. Yes. Squeak. Hello, shopkeeper. What can I buy for a million thousand pounds, please? Susie, what have we got for a million thousand pounds? Hmm, a carrot. Yes, please. Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to collect Pepper and Susie. Daddy, have you had a busy day? Yes. I've been working very hard. We've been working very hard too. We've been shopkeepers. Blah, 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 blah. The end. And print. Mummy Pig has finished her work. <laughs> OK, George. Perhaps we could just play one game of Happy Mrs Chicken. We've earned it. <laughs> Oh, that's because George and I have finished our work, haven't we, George? We've all finished our work, so let's all play! <laughs> Sun, sea and snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. 
It is morning. Yippee! It's sunny. <gasps> snow! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! <laughs> eh? What? <laughs> we are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Peppa's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plow. Snow plows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Mr. Bull. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. Side. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! I love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow.
blackberry bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. We've got baskets for the apples and buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. And she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly. And she was going, Ah! Help me, help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble then? Well, mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Chatterbox. It is a lovely sunny day, and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Peppa and Susie are best friends. Guess what happened to me yesterday? <laughs> yesterday, I went to the duck pond and I saw Mrs Duck. Well, yesterday... Then I went to the supermarket with Mummy. We bought bread, carrots and... What's wrong? You talk too much. You go, blah, 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 
blah, blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox? That's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm! Mmm! You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Mackey Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. I can be quiet. It's not Easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> on your mark, get set. Three. Hello. <laughs> I'm home. Oh. I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <laughs> I am an expert at talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. Oh, oh, you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter, Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter. Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, 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 chatter. Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. 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 <laughs>
Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Pepper and her family have come to the summer fete. <laughs> Look! A display of rescue vehicles. Grandad Dog is showing his pickup truck. This is the sound my pickup truck makes. <laughs> Mummy Sheep is showing the fire engine. <laughs> this is the sound the fire engine makes. And Miss Rabbit is showing her rescue helicopter. This is the sound my helicopter makes. Helicopter reversing. Helicopter reversing. Ooh. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> OK, hop in. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no room for me. Never mind. I'll watch from the ground. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Wee-hee! We're going up in the air. Yes, it can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. Oh. It can even loop the loop. <laughs> poor Daddy, he's missing all the fun. Yes, poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land. Now. Emergency! Emergency! Calling rescue helicopter! I'm on my way! You're in luck! We've got a job to do! Mr Bull is digging up the road. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit! I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting! OK, Mr Bull! How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet! <laughs> What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up. And down and round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <gasps> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit money. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Breakdown recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello, fire service. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa. I'm... Flying. Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even loop the loop. Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter.
Chloe's big friends. Pepper and her family are on their way to visit Cousin Chloe. I love playing with big Cousin Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, Chloe! Oh, Chloe. Hi there. These are my friends, Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear. You can call me Si. It's short for Simon. And I'm B. It's short for Belinda. <laughs> I'm Pepper. We'll call you Pe. Oh, and this is George. We'll call you J. Oh. You didn't tell us you had baby cousins, Chloe. <laughs> I'm not a baby. But you're both little. I'm a big girl. George is little. Uh, why don't we all play a game? <laughs> yes, let's play hide and seek. We don't play baby games anymore. We're almost grown up. <laughs> what about the yes-no game? What's the yes-no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <laughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knot, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Pepper is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Pepper and George. <laughs> Move up. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. 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 What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> See Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Peppa. Can, can we, we come, come along too? too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Pepper and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up.
feeling. It is a lovely sunny morning and Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. <whistles> try making a smaller O shape. <whistles> oh, oh, like this. And then you can whistle a tune. I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. <laughs> it took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <gasps> oh, yes! Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <sighs> George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. Can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling, anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <whistles> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody, cookies. <laughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? Yes, lots, but it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Pepper. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. Oh! What's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Pepper has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle. 